History could be made in Fresno today as a clean technology company tries to break a world record for the longest flight of an all electric plane. Jenna listens live at the Fresno Chandler Executive Airport to explain how you can see it happen today. Join here with Desmond Wheatley and one of the really cool things during our last interview, if we can point over there, that is the uh, charging station for this guy and I could hear it in the background. I didn't know that it was the charging station, but tell us how it works. That's the American manufactured and invented Beam Global EV Arc. And yes, what you heard was it actually tracking. So it's a solar array uh, mounted on top of the product and it's tracking to follow the sun. That way we get about 25% more electricity than if it was a fixed array. And 25% more electricity uh, into the batteries in that system means 25% more electricity into the aircraft. That means 25% more miles that the aircraft can fly. So it's a real innovation in the technology, our ability to pack all of that energy into this tiny product that we can drop off anywhere without construction, without electrical work, and then fuel electric vehicles or aircraft. And the tracking is just giving us so much more fuel of the future. So, and when you're drive, or driving or flying on sunshine, as this will, one will be today, zero pollution, no congestion, and all with American-made products. And the world record we're trying to set today, I mean, the message here is just to show we can move forward and this can be the future. Is that right? This is like Kitty Hawk 100 plus years ago. We're like the Wright brothers here. They, they flew for the first time. Now we're flying electric for the first time. You're going to see fantastic changes in the next few years. We want to do it all with American products and American renewable energy. Pilot Joseph Oldham that runs the program here and has the electric uh, aircraft here is someone who we've done business with for many years. We know him well. We've got a great deal of respect for him. He's doing a fantastic thing here. He's rejuvi rejuvenating aviation in this part of the world. Of course, Central California has lots of these airports. They're t horribly underutilized. If we can get people flying around electric aircraft cheaper and more safely, then we can rejuvenate this area. That brings economic uh, wealth to the area, training, jobs, and all sorts of other things, and that's really important to us. Joining us now is Beam Global pilot Joseph Oldham. Joseph, thank you so much for joining us. First question, tell us a little bit about this aircraft behind you. How is it different from one of the more uh, common fixed wing aircraft that we see? Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's, it's fully electrically powered. It has no internal combustion engine in it at all. The beautiful thing about this is the uh, Beam Global EV Arc that we're using to charge, these, uh, charge the aircraft up on this trip was actually designed for charging electric cars. And what we're seeing now is this huge opportunity to leverage the investments that are being made in electrification of ground transportation and provide infrastructure to support electric aircraft, which, as we see from this one, behind us they're here and they're and more and more there's hundreds of new designs that are coming into the marketplace over the next five years so we need the infrastructure to be in place to support their operations and potentially these aircraft can open new connectivity opportunities for us here in the San Joaquin Valley with a lot of our underutilized airport infrastructure that's awesome Joseph thank you much thank you so much for joining us and I know you're taking off at around 6 30 so best of luck on your flight Look behind me, it landed, it is here right behind us. And I am joined once again with Desmond who rode, wait, can we just show off to the side here, the electric motorcycle. He rode on the electric motorcycle over here as well. It's all electric today just to prove that, hey, we can do it, this is the way of the future. Flying on sunshine and riding on sunshine and even driving on sunshine. We've got an, an electric vehicle coming up here too that's also charged from our product. So yeah, Beam Global, EVR, charging three different modes of transportation here in Fresno and going for the world record and first legs down great success so far that's awesome and so next where are we going we're in madeira now so where are we heading next we go to merced and then to modesto and we're going to overnight in modesto and then tomorrow we'll fly to lodi and then sacramento which is the sort of round the halfway point if you like and then we're going to repeat the whole thing coming back to fresno saturday morning and if we make it to fresno on saturday morning in one piece like i know we're going to <laughs> on sunshine we'll have broken the world record that's awesome and so a big thing jim i don't know if you remember in the last live hit this massive charging station i mean we we are taking this and moving it each
each time to each location. And that's just, you know, something you guys really want to talk about, too, is how easy this thing is to transfer and how we should be using this for more planes. The, the world's going to need an awful lot of charging infrastructure for all the electric vehicles and airplanes and motorcycles and everything else that are coming down the pipe. We, this, this thing here, because it doesn't require any construction or any connection to the electrical grid, is just deployed far faster. You can put it anywhere you like really quickly without going through any permitting or construction pro, uh, process like that. And then, of course, it's going to keep delivering electricity to airplanes and cars and buses and motorcycles, even if the grid goes down during a blackout or if, if uh, we've got the heat waves that we're having right now, everybody's supposed to be using less power. This thing doesn't care. It keeps producing it. It's even flood proof to nine and a half feet and has survived hurricanes down in the Caribbean as well. So it's just a very robust piece of uh, fueling infrastructure providing the fuel of the future. Again, invented in California and manufactured in California and we're exporting them all over the world. That's awesome. And then Ola and I were actually talking on the way over here too. Even with all the fires and the air quality, these kind of things, all electric planes are going to be so helpful. I mean, just for our air quality here, people really feel the impacts of that. Do you know what? Transportation and the generation of electricity contribute more than 70% of the greenhouse gas emissions of the United States of America. So those two things, electricity and transportation, these products here wipe out both sources. So by charging and flying on sunshine and driving on sunshine, you're wiping out 70% of the greenhouse gas emissions. And let, face it, like, like it or not, that's what's contributing to all these fires and record temperatures and everything else like that. We're saving people money. We're good for the economy. We're good for geopolitical situation and we're good for the environment. Thank you so much for joining us, Desmond, this morning, all morning long. And Jim, we'll be here again at 9 o'clock. World record achievement today in the Valley, and it could have an impact on the future of air travel. San Diego-based clean technology company, Beam Global, says it set the record for the longest solar-powered flight in an, electric, in an electric aircraft. Action News was there as Beam Global returned to Chandler Executive Airport in southwest Fresno. The flight to Sacramento and back began Wednesday with stops in Madera, Merced, Modesto, and Lodi. The CEO of Beam Global says the trip was powered completely on sunshine and could change the industry for the better. Aviation is a terrible polluting uh, industry. We all accept that and recognize that. We have to electrify it. What we're proving here is that you can, in fact, fly in electric airplanes. You can fly great distances in electric airplanes, and you can do it all on clean and renewable energy produced by American-made products. Beam Global designs and manufactures products for the electric electrification of transportation, such as mobile charging stations, allowing planes and vehicles to travel day or night, and even in bad weather.